And tens of thousands of Hungarians have rallied in Budapest to co commemorate an anti-communist uprising in 1956. Supporters also turned out to back nationalist premier Viktor Orban. He's facing a united front of opposition parties in elections next year. The vote will be the biggest challenge to Orban's authority since he came to power in 2010. And it is expected to be a close contest. I'm now joined by Stefan Bos, a journalist in Budapest. Stefan, thank you so much for joining us. Um, we just heard tens of thousands have attended this pro-Orban rally. Uh, what does this tell us about his popularity in Hungary? Well, it tells us definitely that his uh, popularity is still strong. And I think it will be a very uphill battle for the opposition during the elections, which are expected in April. Of course, there were tens of thousands of people. That is also the core base, I would say, of the Prime Minister, Viktor Orban. But at the same time, there were also thousands of people here uh, behind me uh, just an hour ago uh, when actually the um, candidate for the opposition, Peter uh, Marki Sakai, was uh, talking here. And actually, uh, he was uh, making clear that he wants to fight for freedom. He spoke with uh, the thousands of supporters here. So they were definitely here as well in Hungary today. And does the candidate for the opposition uh, pose a serious challenge to Orban's rule? Well, you know, I think they feel that they have definitely the possibility to uh, show a clear challenge to the Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban. Uh, I also spoke today uh, with uh, the opposition candidate for Prime Minister, uh, Mr. Peter Sarkai uh, Marti. Uh, he basically told me that uh, he, when he is Prime Minister, he wants to fight for freedom and also to make sure that Hungary becomes part of the European Prosecutor's Office, which is not the case now. Uh, he feels that he has the momentum, but I also have to say it will be a very tough battle because all opinion polls also show that uh, the ruling Fidesz party is uh, still slightly ahead at this hour and uh, at this moment. So we have to see whether this, uh, this really made a difference. Now, Stefan, just before we go briefly, if you could, could you give us an idea of this commemoration of the 1956 national uprising? I mean, how significant is it for today's Hungary? It was a very significant day, of course, to hold uh, these rallies. Uh, today is the uh, 65th commemoration of the 1956 revolution against uh, communism and against the Soviet domination. And of course, uh, this was also a crucial moment for the opposition to uh, gather here. And uh, yeah, people still remember how 200,000 Hungarians fled this nation, uh, thousands of people died. So it is definitely something that uh, remains uh, in a way an open wound uh, for Hungary. Uh, but the opposition hopes that uh, if they come to power, that they will introduce the freedom that they say the 1956 fighters were fighting for. Stefan Bos in Budapest, thank you very much for that update.